my dear friends, welcome. As a Swiss cock, we are in time. Welcome to our seventh ALN annual meeting and to our second LNA annual meeting. Welcome to our new, to our veteran members. Welcome to you, brothers and sisters of ALN and ALNA. Let's start from the bottom. The daily thought that many of us received yesterday from our friend Pratap. A quote ascribed to Charles Darwin. It is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to the change. I'm not talking only about the pandemic, even if COVID-19 changed the scenario. All of us know very well what the world of trading and our logistics industry is facing. Very high freight rates, in some cases multiplied by 10, strong ports and dry ports congestion that is strictly connected with the lack of dock workers, but not only, the lack of truck drivers and the difficulties to replace them. And for all these factors, the Christmas empty shelf paranoia seems to take hold, encouraging in this way the consumer sphere and the consequences that this implies. And the fear always brings disastrous consequences. Is the Grinch the animated character winning? Is the Christmas going to be stolen by the green hairy creature? For sure, we are part of a fragile and delicate global supply chain hit by many typhoons. The world has learned a hard lesson. Our interconnected economies are separated by long distances. Delays in one place have ripple effects in many other places. One container not discharged in Long Beach because the port workers are in quarantine is a container not loaded in Iowa with soy, and it means a potential fish shortage in Southeast Asia. Not only the pandemic, I said, but yes, that has been the beginning of many changes. During the lockdown, people bought a stand mixer and treadmills or running machines and many other equipments leaving the just-in-time economy without warehouse stocks for monks. But for monks, many containers have been shipped all around the world, delivering personal protection equipment. In March, the crisis with the vessel ever given into the Suez Canal arrived, increasing for weeks the global supply chain disruption. Then, the port congestion and some port uh, shutdowns because of the new Delta variant of the virus were another hit to the system. In the meantime, we can see everyday carriers expanding not only their profits but also their activities and trespassing day by day the border with the free forwarder business. It's uh, the digitalization that allows the carrier to handle shipments from door to door, including additional services as custom clearance or insurance coverage. It's the digitalization that allows carrier to make very easy the procedures for the shipments. Why to pay an expert free for order? to ship every week 10 containers with meat from the island of Brazil to the province of Modena. Why to do that if that shipment is tracked point by point in the global blockchain-based portal? Probably they are right. There won't be competition in some markets. But yes, there's competition in many other market. One year ago, in my opening speech at the sixth and first annual meeting, I said, visiting a new customer, we can say, hi, we are a small, medium family business. 
we take care of your cargo much more than any of the 25 or 50 major freight forwarding companies in the world and much much more than any carrier and this is true i'm sure but not enough all these changes if coming will come for everybody because the change run independently by our wishes i think to be allowed to say that i was right to recognize the need now and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow of professional freight forwarders doesn't mean not to see the need of a change and that evolution must cover all including freight forwarders including us if i look at our business daily handled by our operation teams it appears always more complicated why it should be easier and easier containerization standardization digitalization should have made it easier for everybody but not if the process started years ago leaving to small and medium companies only the more skilled jobs and every day more this is the reason why we started Africa Logistic Netto, why my father, Alessandro, that unfortunately today can be here, started Africa Logistic Network. And this is again the reason why we started Air Freight Logistic Network for Africa two years ago. And EPN, Exclusive Project Network, last May 2021. To find the niche market, to find highly skilled partners, to compete with the multinational freight forwarders, and now, with the shipping lines on the field where they are the weakest. Niche markets can be very big, as Africa is, as Project Cargo is, and they are just a couple of examples, not the only ones. The essence is still the knowledge and professionalism of our teams and networking. Network is that thing that makes small and medium-sized companies bigger. Believe me, it's not easy to make a network and it's even more difficult during tough times when companies that have been always reliable and financially stable are not anymore dead. We have the protection plan, but it covers only a small part of the risk. We also have to make always a more strict selection and to suspend, if not even to kick out, the members representing now a risk for the community. This is the only way to continue being a family as we are. A big family founded on confidence and friendship. And every family sometimes has to take drastic decisions to protect the other members. What else? What? Digitalization. And again, digitalization, tracking online, electronic documents, blockchain-based platforms. We can't leave it only to the major companies and carriers. This is also the priority for Africa to restart growing after COVID. After COVID, I see. Let me say one more thing. In all Western and Northern countries, we are talking about the third dose of vaccination. I think this is correct and right and good and moral for our future only if not alternative to the first and second dose in the rest of the world and especially in Africa where only 2% of population has been vaccinated. I think it's clear to everybody that only if the world is protected we are protected. Only if the world is vaccinated we can be safe and sheltered from other lockdowns. Let me close with a quote as I started. It's from Michael Jordan, businessman and former basketball player. NBA website states that MJ, as he is called, is by acclamation the greatest basketball player of all time. And despite he was the best one, he said, talent wins, gains but Teamwork and intelligent wins championships. I mean, you are the talented one, ALN and ALNA are the teamworks, two of the teamworks needed to win the championship. Good luck and good work, my friends. 
I'm sure we have a great future together. And now my father should introduce a, a, with a short speech a, a, a new issue, but uh, he is not very well today, uh, say, but not so well. And Sylvie is going to read a letter from uh, Alessandro Saponaro. Thank you, Sylvie. Hi to everybody. <laughs> Ciao to all of you. It's a great pleasure to see you after about one year, even if via Zoom. I sincerely hope that that is one could be our last virtual meeting and that next year we'll enjoy meeting personally. As founder and honorary president of ALN, I want first to thank the actual president, Marcello Saponaro, and all the team, Andra, Silvi, and Laura, for the very good job they handled in the last years to develop the network and to maintain very good relationship inside the group. I would also spend some words on illustrating a new project on which we are working and that I hope to bring to a positive conclusion. As you know, our business is changing remarkably and this change has been accelerated by the pandemic. I don't know what will be the real and final result of Merck Lines decisions, but our business has the risk to lose the most important shippers after having already lost the, the small packages traffic. I don't want to take you more time soon. More time. So briefly, we are working to organize for the month of November 2022 in Bangkok a meeting. Let me call it a super meeting, inviting all the networks, container operators, transport assurance, port asso associations. In few words, all the people involved in our business to discuss about what will be the situation at the time and how we could move in order to maintain our market. Next week, we'll send an email to all mentioned companies and of course to you and we'll see what will be the reaction. In the meantime, have a good meeting and again, see you soon. Let's, disco let's discover later where and when. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you and now let's talk with uh, three friends of us, three partners. The first one, let me call uh, Mr. Jürgen Weyhausen. He, are you here with us, Jürgen? I'm here. Hi, yes. Jürgen. Hi, Jürgen. Let me, Hi. Uh, you don't need any introduction to our uh, friends and members mm -hmm. because they know you very well. But uh, let me say that uh, you started a new adventure, not only with your uh, project forwarding company, but also with a new netto. I told uh, something, yes. few words in my speech. Please introduce uh, uh, your uh, new adventure network, uh, exclusive project network. Yeah, thank you very much, Marcello. Well, hi everybody, first of all. Uh, I think some of you, if not most of you, know me because uh, in my uh, former job I was also member in uh, Africa Logistics Network and um, I've been around other networks for quite a while both as member as well as um, having experience and having started another network before. Now since uh, last year um, I'm in a new role in a double function um, one is I started a company called Seven Worldwide Logistics based in Germany, which is mainly a, pro a pure project freight forwarding company. Um, I'm in this business now since 48 years um, and uh, I hope I gained a little experience in projects 
and this new uh, company has had a great start actually uh, we are increasing people we are increasing uh, business and if anybody of you is seeking a new job in germany and projects let me know we are open for everything but um, apart from that um, actually together with with uh, marcello um, and our friends from uh, logimar um, I also uh, started a new uh, project network called EPN, Exclusive Project Network. Um, Marcello and his team are um, shareholders there, so you can say Marcello and me are the uh, founders and Marcello and me are both CEO of this new network. We started, we launched this only six months ago and already got like 60 members and partners until now, which has been a really fantastic start. In particular, if you take into consideration that we only allow one country, per, uh, one member per country. Uh, this is where the name is coming from, Exclusive Project Network. I. Uh, I have been. Again, sorry, just a question. I, I know your answer, <laughs> but why yeah. another project network? Are now so many? Mm -hmm. There are now so many networks in the world, and even in the project for world in network. Why another? Yes, one? but there is. Yes, uh, uh, yes, but there is only, to the best of my knowledge, uh, including exclusive project network. There are only two networks globally. Uh, with this exclusivity, one country, one member, and from a, and and I'm sure there is a demand for it because if I remember when I was a member in networks, this was always a headache that you had a minimum two or even more um, members in one country, uh, creating a competition situation may say within the family what he really likes this and over the years um, I had many requests from from friends all over the world from our industry uh, asking me why don't you do it exclusive okay so here we are finally we did it and as I said before the start what is so promising that uh, it is for me it is very clear that there is a there is a demand for it. Uh, the other argument is, of course, that the focus on the quality of the members is even higher because there is only one. Um, so we really want to be uh, top of the class uh, in this uh, project network world. Um, so that was really the reason, apart from that, having my own project trade forwarding company, as I said before, um, I am, I need partners everywhere in the world. Uh, I, I'm not having own offices apart from Germany and very few other places. Um, so for any project that we are doing, it is no big deal to ship it up to the port of entry and, uh, anywhere in, uh, on the globe. Uh, but I need good local partners there to provide me with the local services, with the on carriage, customs clearance, who know the mentality, who know the infrastructure, who know the equipment situation. So this is absolutely crucial. Without this, I would be lost. So, so many of the members at the same time are also the partners that I'm working with at Seven Worldwide Logistics. And the same goes for Logima, I can say. So this is... A, even a small extra benefit, you can say, because it goes without saying that the members, uh, whenever I have a business to their area, will be supported uh, by my project logistics company as well. And as I say, the same goes for Lodjima. Uh, so that's a small extra on top. Of course, this network is not the cheapest one, or maybe I can even say, to the best of my knowledge, it belongs to the most expensive ones in the world. But I repeat, the quality is absolute top and you have exclusivity. So if you, um, we are, obviously we are still having 
uh, more or less 60 countries open. Um, so if anybody is interested in this, uh, feel free to contact anytime Marcello and his team. Uh, if you want to try uh, uh, and then uh, we will come back to you uh, with the full information about cost uh, membership application and whatever needs to be done to do all the formality. That's about it, what I have to say. I think we did uh, ALN you. and EPN for the same reason. First of all, to support uh, our company, our, our main business that is logistics. And uh, that makes networks more helping all the members because these, uh, we didn't uh, found the network just to build a membership fee that are important to make it working, but yes. uh, it's not our uh, reason to, to work on uh, that project. Thank you, Jürgen. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you very much. I wish you good luck with your event uh, during the next uh, time and days. And um, yeah, good luck, all the best. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank see you. Bye-bye. Thanks again, uh, Jürgen. And now should be in uh, uh, arrived the, the second ALN and ALNA meetings. Mr. Daniel Chiaroni, Account Executive Solution Line Cargo of AON. AON, AON is one of the biggest uh, insurance brokers in uh, the world. And uh, it, I think it, his speech is, uh, is very important, illustrating the, the change in, uh, uh, in the insurance uh, industry. Mr. Chiaroni. Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> nice Good evening, you. everyone. Nice to have you here at our uh, seventh and second annual meeting. Unfortunately, virtual, still virtual, but next year we will uh, do better. Please. Thank you to you to have me here. And um, so, um, what can I say? I think that one of the uh, big, uh, biggest issues arising from uh, uh, ensuring goods uh, for your customers when you have uh, shipments to, to Africa, um, it is the, the local uh, compulsory insurance. Uh, and on this team, uh, I can say that several times uh, uh, it, it is one uh, of the things that uh, usually are taken in consideration at the, at the last. Uh, I think it's quite important uh, for all you freight forwarders um, in a single shipments, but even in project cargo, um to think about insurance uh, uh, and what it can be done uh, in terms of uh, compulsory insurance uh, since uh, uh, the, the first approach with the client uh, um, on on shipments or project cargo uh, I say this because in the last years we we saw through our clients uh, that uh, with the custom house uh, in uh, in Africa um, there have been uh, quite quite a lot of problems. Like uh, um, it was uh, it was available uh, from uh, the insurance market to to give insurance to goods. Uh, uh, even if in some case there is compulsory insurance. But uh, we saw that uh, our clients had some troubles with the custom house, with uh, in some cases confiscations, fines uh, and delays. So this is something that at the end uh, it, it impacts a lot on your business because uh, you have to satisfy your, your final clients delivering goods, obviously. So 
my advice is absolutely to um, let's say to to analyze uh, even if, when when you have uh, almost no information on, on the, the shipments, uh, even with a little bit of information to see uh, what it can be done for even just a single shipment or for a project cargo. Um, with the, just taking a, a few days, maybe a week of, uh, um, of time before the shipment, it can be easily find uh, the best solution uh, to have your client satisfied, to have uh, uh, the right price and the condition in terms of insurance uh, and to have no trouble uh, in the parts of, uh, um, let's say, custom house, uh, like I said, with the confis confiscation of goods or delays or even uh, fines. Um, th thank you. If you have any question or I think many changes are coming in, uh, in your world and uh, we seeing from uh, here, from, uh, from Italy, in the case of my company, from, uh, from Europe. Uh, it happened that in uh, talking about Africa, in many countries, uh, now we are not anymore uh, allowed to, to cover the insurance up to door at the destination uh, country and the, this may exactly uh, and this is uh, sometimes a, a big trouble for our customer but i must say that uh, we always had the a great support from uh, aon from your company because uh, uh, they never say it it can can't be done and, and that's it but always we we work to find the solution uh, to arrange the shipment completely safe for, safely for our customers. Exactly, time time is it's really important on this team on this let's say things because uh, we can find the right solution, issuing a local policy, finding um, an insurer that can uh, issue a local policy, and then from Italy uh, can provide more conditions and more, uh, let's say, additional terms that the local policy itself cannot uh, provide. So um, my message is, um, if you need any help, uh, just think to uh, contact us or to, um, to think about the problem from at the, in the moment that you know about this this shipments, not at, at uh, the last point of uh, let's say of the closing of, of all the the documents uh, and and the shipments. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And now we it's a big return because it was a guest also one year ago. I, I have to introduce you, Mr. Pietro Marzano, it's a lawyer in Naples, and he is the chairman of the board of Freight Recovery and Arbitration Chamber. Mr. Marzano, are you here? The last guest to, 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 to talk with us, to, to introduce, just one second, and I have to say also that just after the intro, the, presentation of uh, this, uh, this new company, uh, me and Sylvie will leave the, our seats to Andra and Laura that are going to talk about uh, protection plan and marketing tools. Mr. Marzano. How are you, Marcello? Hi. It's just a joke, but you are, from you, very much. you are from Naples and you are late. Yes, from Naples. There's a connection. Really? <laughs> A really warm welcome to no. all the participants to this uh, annual meeting. It's my second time here. I'm uh, really proud to tell you 
Thank you very I'm much. I'm really proud to tell you that we have uh, uh, just concluded our project to start this arbitration chamber that I want to introduce to everybody. Uh, we have uh, started this project one year ago and now it's live. Uh, we have built a freight recovery and ambition chamber. Our purpose is to give uh, to all the associates the opportunity for working with the a global real network that can assist them in a uh, debt collection, in uh, opening an arbitration procedure to find a, a fair arrangement between parties and to proceed in court if it happens, uh, to recover the money. How, would, how can we do this? Just let me share the screen just to show you our website that is live and uh, can help us to understand what we have uh, just now to do. Okay, just a minute. Should be allowed. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, just a minute because it's very simple, but I think that I have to do this. Okay. 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 Now this is the, the first page of our uh, chamber. You can find here all the information that you need to start an action uh, with us. Uh, the freight recovery and ambition chamber uh, just have one idea to use uh, uh, what is the arbitration as a way to resolve uh, any kind of dispute between uh, associated or third parties. And first of all, to try to collect uh, the debt recovery and to collect the money from people who, for some cases, have not paid due what is due. A uh, few words about what is uh, the debt recovery procedure. Uh, it's very simple. You only have to uh, send an email uh, to our secretary. They will ask you for some documents that we need to start uh, a collection. It will be a friendly collection at the beginning. Uh, then if we have no uh, response from the other part, we will start in, in arbitration. And uh, the arbitration will start if the parties so would uh, have the opportunity to avoid any kind of problem with the court look with the local courts. Why we still, we have used this procedure and let's give me some uh, brief uh, information about what is the arbitration. Uh, the contractual nature of arbitration is provided by the New York Convention of 1958 and the convention is enforced in 158 states. Uh, under which uh, parties are permitted to agree that any disputes uh, arising shall be resolved by an arbitration panel composed of three or more members. Uh, international arbitration shall be given a preventive effect with respect to the conflict between the parties in order to avoid, as we said, any problem with time and jurisdiction uh, because is uh, the parties themselves who determine the applicable law and uh, the seat in which the arbitration will be carried out. Uh, the state that have signed the New York Convention undertake to comply with all the arbitration agreements concluded by the parties and to recognize and enforce the award issued by the arbitration committee at the end of the procedure. It means that when you have explained to the chamber what is your problem, why people have not already paid you, uh, we can start to understand what kind of problem we have. And if the other part want to make any comp is compliant for every kind of problem, they could uh, agree to start an arbitration and just to give the opportunity to very well experienced arbitrators uh, to give their opinion. Uh, to do this, uh, we have used the, the long experience of Africa Logistic Network and of Marcel, of some of our family and friends, just to choose a few members that we have selected as arbitrators for their experience in this sector. You can find this. I know that some of them is now online. They come all over the world and they will be entitled to make this kind of work or better the arbitration 
just because the parties uh, be, will be confident that they could resolve the problem and find a fair arrangement between the parties. Obviously, there is a procedure that is well described in terms of condition on the website. That means that you have to send all the information online so there is a, we can discuss about the problems also live using the ordinary instruments that you use every day but all the documentation must be sent uh, on, uh, with the, an email and all the information needed and what is clear is that all the procedure is uh, with the, a very very clear uh, politic about the fees so you already know how much it costs before you will start to do any kind of action that is one of the problems that you have when you have any kind of a relationship with the law firm or with another entity that want to help you to recover your money. So we have written a very clear uh, uh, regulation that is uh, online at the, and uh, all the partners that have given help to do this uh, uh, new experience that I want to say thank you to everybody, to Africa Logistic Network, to Air Freight Logistic Network for Africa, to x Project Network, and to Piedwen Avocati, that is my group in Beta Leeds, that have uh, done this kind of project just to try to have an opportunity to give uh, to all the people all over the world the, uh, how to say, the, the opportunity opportunity to resolve the problems they have in normal life without uh, spending a lot of money, wasting time uh, discussing with people that don't know what it, uh, what works, uh, what kind of arrangement they can define. So this is a solution that is now online. The site is uh, online in a few hours and I'm really proud of this project that has been leaded with Marcello and uh, I think that could give to all the associates the opportunity to have a new instrument to do good business all over the world. So thank you to you, Marcello. Thank you to all the members of the network. Um, I hope to see you in person in the next opportunity, set to be in the next meeting uh, with you and uh, to discuss the problem from a legal point of view and to help all the people that work in this sector to have uh, a very professional, a fair assistance uh, about the legislation they have to apply all over the world. We will use uh, an international network of lawyers that work with us, that we already we have, and uh, are ready to give you all the opportunity that we can find on the market. So thank you again, Marcello, to everybody. Thank you so much, Pietro, for your intervention. And you hello, much. everybody. So nice to have you all here. Good day, everyone. I'm Laura. I'm part of ALN and ALNA team since two years now, and it's a pleasure to uh, be here today. Now, I would like to better, better explain all marketing tools that uh, our networks offer. First of all, there are many ways to promote your company name inside and outside the network. And for us, every kind of possibility uh, to help you to gaining business is important. Therefore, our team is committed to support you in promoting your company, thanks to a dedicated, depart de dedicated uh, department uh, for media communication and marketing. Our two uh, main marketing tools provided, that provided to our members are the marketing emails and the members' news. Regarding the marketing emails, we give the opportunity uh, to our members to spread all the information that they retain important through our internal mailing list with customized emails. It can start uh, from a general character basic on information, um, simple information, such as principal, general principal uh, services, main focus, main streets, to up uh, to more specific details, such as certification, main areas of interest, markets to develop. Recently, as mentioned by our emails to the members, we aim to focus on uh, the main street of our members, because uh, we are very keen to know better each member's specialization, main markets and uh, area of interest. 
All that allows us to match and connect all members in order to facilitate the business development inside the network. In addition, um, based on the information that we received from the members, we succeed to um, on making some statistics that will be spread uh, with our members. The statistics uh, were, will be useful, one, for our internal knowledge, and second, to, be, um, to uh, better connect our members considering uh, their needs. Therefore, on uh, our marketing uh, scope is uh, one, to emphasize uh, the key points of uh, uh, the main services of our members, to uh, produce uh, more business opportunity within the network, uh, three, to highlight uh, the company's traits and interests, and four, to allow the network to better know its own members. This uh, helps us uh, also to keep our members directory always updated. Fact that we understand is not always uh, considered as a main task for the companies uh, due to the high uh, amount of daily work. On the other hand, uh, the second point is the members' news. Uh, these are important to ensure the member visibility through our website and social media. And, show, and to show uh, all, best, all the best achievements also worldwide. Let me appoint one thing. For us, every kind, every type of, pro of projects is an opportunity to highlight the member's skills and spread the company name, especially uh, with special projects or collaborations within the ALN and ALNA members. Internally, uh, we are always making a research through uh, your social media to find news and projects uh, that are suitable for the networks. But at any time, uh, you can contact us and send photos and details of what you want to be published, and we gladly assist you. Once we obtain uh, the needful uh, material, we will take care of the rest. First of all, uh, we prepare the news on our website, uh, always creating a draft uh, that have to be approved uh, by you before any publication. Then uh, we'll proceed with the public publishing uh, on our website and social media, while on the WhatsApp group, uh, the scope is to maintain a constant promotion within the network's members. In conclusion, uh, we think that promotion and business development uh, inside the network uh, is a commitment uh, from both sides. And uh, we are here to support uh, you in the possible way. Thank you. Well, thanks to Laura for uh, her intervention. It was her first time in front of a big audience, so I'm sure that she was very, very nervous, but everything went well. Uh, and hope to have you with many other meetings in many further years. Um, now I would like to, to talk about you three important matters and I will start from the protection plan. As you all know, starting from 2020, uh, we implemented uh, a new formula for the protection plan. Um, after some uh, investigations, uh, we tried to find the best formula. Uh, we had previously the guarantee found, which was on voluntary basis. But further, we have decided to implement something that could be mandatory for, any me for all members. So we created uh, the membership fees with the protection plan included. Uh, the major part of you know already the main rules of the protection plan. Um, but I will, uh, I will try to, to make just a few points because, uh, of course, basing myself on the many uh, questions that I receive often from you. So, uh, as mentioned, uh, the protection plan is included in the membership fees. It's nothing apart from that. Um, uh, so, uh, when uh, you um, have a claim with another member, so let's say that 
company X uh, is not able or does not respond you anymore to your emails or is not paying your invoices, uh, you have to inform the management of ELN or ALNA uh, within a maximum of 120 days and we will try to uh, get in contact with the company and finalize the full amount of the payment. In case that we do not succeed with that, we have an external partner that we appeal uh, for further interventions, even with, uh, by lawyers or uh, in court. Uh, consequently, um, any time uh, so that you have an issue with any of our members, you must inform us accordingly and we will step in and interfere. Um, as mentioned, for example, if the total, total amount of the invoice is, let's say, 15,000 uh, euros, then the protection plan will recognize you up to six times the amount you paid for of the membership. So it will be, in this case, 9,000 euros. In the contrary case, if you have, for example, an invoice that is for 500 euros or 1,500 1, euros, then the protection plan will recognize you up to 60% of the unpaid invoice. Of course, the protection plan is not an insurance and this is what we could offer for the beginning. If everything goes well and we hope so far, in next year we are disposed and it's one of our main aims to increase the percentage of reimbursement in order to have as much as possible the protection of our members and the collaboration inside our network. As a second matter, I would also like to remind you all that as member of ALN or member of ALNA, if you introduce to us any of your partners worldwide in places that we have vacancy and they confirm their membership, um, you can have a discount on your next membership renewal. This is very important because it could help us to increase our community and um, have as many members as possible uh, that we already know and with which you have already worked. As a third point, I would like to uh, inform you uh, that even if 2020 was a difficult year in the middle of a pandemic, uh, we still uh, welcomed some new members and I would like to uh, mention them and I will start by ALN. Um, we had as new members Freighters from Lebanon, we have Golden Horn from Nigeria, we have ABC Freight from Bangladesh, Dahnai Logistics from Thailand, Xiamen Odin and Shenzhen Kinwan for China, Oli Cargo for Mozambique and Angola, Africa Container Shipping from, for Germany and Switzerland, we have Crowley Government Services for United States, Robema from Belgium, Minpak from Australia, Air Scott and C. Scott Division from United States of America, Group Mibro Services from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Seamark Shipping, a recently joined member from Dubai, and um, in the next days we will announce also the joining of the new members for Saudi Arabia, which is Solution Makers. As for, regards, as for what regards Air Freight Logistics Network for Africa, we have Across Logistics, Asiamed from Morocco, Elite Area from Iran, Logistics, um, Logenix, sorry, for India, Trulog from Singapore, Synergy International in China, Senator International in South Africa, Qualicare in Nigeria, SAR Freights in India, and last but not least, Militer and Nung, a company that I think most of you know, um, and they joined with some offices in Germany, Dubai, Switzerland, Uzbekistan, France, Turkey, Morocco, and Tunisia. I'm pretty sure that ALNA and for definitely we will work and we will put our maximum uh, commitment to make ALNA grow 
uh, as the same we did with LN. Uh, unfortunately, the pandemic also, of course, had some bad, um, bad consequences from this point of view, but I'm sure that starting with 2020, we will make the best of Alna as well, so that we can finally be a very strong uh, group of network. Now uh, we will uh, start with the most awaited event of this, uh, of this uh, ceremony, the awards. So we will be starting with, uh, with announcing the most voted members. Hello Sylvie, welcome back. Hi. Uh, so we will start with uh, the most important category, the worldwide top agents. We will start uh, with uh, the second most voted worldwide, which is Fake Cargo LTD from India. And we have live in connection, uh, in direct connection, Mr. Abhijit Nair. Hello, Abhijit. Hi, Hi Abhijit. So nice to see Hello. you here again. <laughs> same here, same here. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you for this award. Uh, well, it's twice in a row or more. You won also uh, last year, in... right? Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Do you have something to, you. to say to our members? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hello, everyone from the FAI Group India. Grateful to ALN for giving us a platform and our dear partner members for giving us the opportunity to serve them, which led us to win the best member Isha last year and the second best in the world this year. Being the second best, we have space to put in more efforts. FEI has been working hard to become the best rather than the biggest ever since its inception in 1989. Allow me to put in record our sincere thanks from the bottom of our heart to Laura, Andra, Marcelo and above all, Mr. Alessandro, my da dad's great friend for years, for giving us all the support. Um, I would also like to thank Sylvie in this. Uh, see you again next year in Oman for sure in person and not online anymore. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Congratulations. And now uh, the winner worldwide top agent 2021 for ALN is Altul Logistics from Turkey. And the Oscar goes to. And the Oscar goes to. And the Oscar goes to. Dear fellow members, please forgive our courage for this fantastic video. We just, just wanted, wanted to, to make a funny entrance and make you some smile because your votes made us much more happy than this. Thank you for all your support. Right, Seda? Yes. Receiving this award is a great pleasure, but the most important thing is knowing that our efforts are being recognized by the world. It's it's give us a full motivation. What do you think about it? Yes, uh, I agree with Seda, and uh, I believe that first place will make a great contribution to us. We are so happy to be first um, and I'm proud of our team. Uh, what do you think about Ela? I am very excited for this award. Ela family is the best. Thank you to all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so, so much to Alton thank Logistics you. team for this, also for this wonderful video, which I did not have the chance to comment and somebody pulled my attention on this, but it's wonderful and it's a great video that you have done. Um, now we can move forward and uh, start with the America's Top Agents. The second most voted is Canon Group from Canada 
and uh, we have a contribute from Mr. Patrick Law, who was not able to be with us today, but he sent a video, so let's watch it. Hi, greetings from Canada. I am Patrick Lowe, uh, president of Canaan Group. Thank you so much for uh, voting for us, for the one of the best North American ALN agents, and hope everybody's doing well uh, despite the pandemic. And I look forward to seeing all of you virtually in this coming week. Thank you. And um, the second most voted was uh, CJC Logistics from USA. And uh, also in this case, we have a contribution. Hello everyone. Thank you very much for voting CJC as the second top America agent. Um, we are very honored to have been voted for this award, especially during these challenging and unprecedented times. We strive to provide the best possible service every day. And this award is affirmation that our efforts haven't gone unnoticed. Special thanks to all of the ALN members that we have worked with so far and we know that there will be many more opportunities to work with the current and new members of ALN in the years to come. Um, thank you again and we look forward to working with more of you and um, becoming better every day in the years to come. If there's anything we can do for any of the members in ALN, please let us know and our hearts go out to you and your families. We hope you are all doing well. Oh, this was Claudine. Uh, thank you so much for sharing the video with us. And so the first most voted as America top agent is Synergy Canada from Canada, of course. He's at your side now, Jay. Oh, hi, Jay. Hi, good morning. Thank you, Andra. Thank you, uh, Sylvie and ALN. Now it's 9, 9.15 in the morning. Oh, so it's a proper oh, yeah. hour. You were already awake. Okay. <laughs> also, our uh, biggest appreciation is for our partners uh, worldwide who trusted us and grant synergy uh, their votes. Uh, we will take uh, your vote as a star on our shoulder to remind ourselves always uh, to do more and give you a better service. In fact, uh, we keep investing in ourselves, in our people, in our technologies uh, to meet uh, market demands. As Marcello mentioned previously, digitalization will be an asset to continue. For example, our IT department, as we speak, exceeds 14 people. So we're investing in, on the side. Uh, year 2021 was indeed a special year for transport industry. A great uh, performance. We did a great performance exceeding 400% on revenue and number of transactions. Also, additional, uh, additional achievements Synergy Canada did. We did purchase another medium sized company in Canada back in May 2021. However, uh, beside all this performance and satisfaction, our uh, personal life is still struggling, where COVID kept distance between us and uh, limit our moves as individual between home and office. I cannot wait to fly again and uh, meet our valuable partners at ALN, returning back to our normal life, uh, to our traditional normal life. And finally, uh, on behalf of all, all Synergy team, I want to thank all of you and for your votes. A big thank you from my heart. Thank, thank you, Jay. You, Jay. <laughs> okay, so now it's okay. the time for the third category. Uh, the second uh, classified is uh, Oriental from China. We have uh, on pair uh, in the second position Aqua Maritime from Malaysia. And we have a video.
for the Asia and Oceania patients, we have uh, three winners as second most voted. So um, I think that our members in that category work pretty much with the, mm -hmm. <laughs> with the others because there is a parity between three. And uh, so we have also Air International Freight uh, from Taiwan. And uh, Ms. Daniel Chen sent us a video contribution. Thank you all of you in this meeting room. First, I would like to thank the Africa Logistics Network for recognizing and acknowledging the cooperation between members. Um, I feel very honored and privileged to be here. The members of LN have been always very supportive to our business. I'm deeply appreciative. You know, when I first time been to the conference of LN two years ago in Istanbul, I felt so much power, energy, and love in this big family. Even we don't have any opportunity to see each other in these two years due to the coffee, but I can feel everyone still around my side. Especially I need any assistance for a while. I can find solution here always. Um, anyway, it's starting to see you guys in Oman next year. Bye. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, it was wonderful to see you. Uh, now the, the first most voted is Global Cargo Far East Limited. Our founder member from Hong Kong and Mr. where Mr. Sandy Chang sent us a video, so let's watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really pleased and honored to be presented by the award of Asia and Oceania top agents of three executive years. I'm also appreciate and thank you to those ALM members who vote to Global Cargo Far East. If we summarize the 2020 into one word, it would be common. And the challenge left over from 2020 are likely to still affect our faith folders enterprises into 2021. However, I believe that as long as all our members can cooperate with each other, every one of us can overcome any challenges in future. The global sea freight forwarding market is booming, and we predict this trend will continue. Especially China is the largest manufacturer in the regions and also in the world. With an increased demand for the pharmaceutical products and essentials, China will open its factories way before other countries. As a result, it is still leading the faith forwarding market globally. How, hence, we go book cargo will do our utmost to support and serve with all members if they have any cargoes in out into Hong Kong and Greater China. In 2022, we may have a very uh, high opportunity to secure a very big project uh, with the volume around 150 to 200 units of the uh, ground uh, equipments for the Hong Kong uh, airport. And also, besides of the general air freight, we are also targeting some potential airlines to negotiate for, uh, for present and the GSA. The last but not less, I'm very eager and hope we ALN will reopen our physical conference meeting in 2022. Let we can face to face meet up each other. Thank you all and wish all healthy and stay safe. Good. And now the, four, the fourth category is uh, Europe. The second Europe top agent is Speedway from Poland. We have a video. 
the UK and then Italy, our great partners and friends. Greetings from Poland. At the Speedway, we face a huge and very nice surprise thanks to your folks. This award showing us the sense of our everyday work, also giving us the motivation to work hard in the future for our mutual benefits. We are very honored to be a part of the great ALN community and want to thank all of the members. 2017, when we joined ALN, we started fruitful cooperation with many of you. Year by year, we get a lot of support from our partners all over the world. Your knowledge and help is crucial to provide good service for our clients. We want to assure you that you can count on Speedway for all your shipments and inquiries. Also, we will do our best to create as many chances as possible for individual cooperation. Once again, thank you for the votes. Can't wait to see you again. Thank you, Mateos. <laughs> thank you. Now, the first most voted Europe Top Agent 2021 is TFS France. Miss Delphine, who many of you know already very well, sent us a video, but before um, she asked to say some words. I will try to emulate her wonderful smile, even if I'm sure I'm not will be able to do such good, but anyway, I will try. A very good morning, afternoon, night to all. I sincerely hope everything is doing well. I love my voice through Andras. <laughs> the whole TFS friends would like to thank you for this new award with grateful and with honor. This gives me even more particularly precious because as you know, this year has been really violent. So this sweetness is really welcome and appreciate. I send you through my video, a moment of escape, a big breath of fresh air, gratitude, for each of you, dear members of LN family. Again, thank you to all. And uh, for this meeting, you will have the great chance to have our super specialist for the maritime part, our Thierry, which will be responsible for the one-to-one -one meetings. See you very, very soon in Oman. Take care, my friends. With all my friendship, yours, Delphine.
Thank you. And now the fifth uh, category of the awards is the Middle East. <laughs> The second most voted is uh, Target Logistics Service from Jordan. We have live uh, Anas. Hi, Anas. Anas. Yes, Sandra. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> We wouldn't like to miss this moment for you because I know that you would be very angry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. yeah, thank you. First of all, thank you for this event and uh, special thanks to our CEO, Mr. Alessandro and uh, um, Mr. Uh, um, uh, Marcello as well. And thank you for the all, all LN staff uh, for this effort, because I can see um, LN is expanding to the whole world. Um, and we are like a family, you know, we are working as a family. So um, uh, I can see a good growth for ILN. Uh, and thanks for all the member who voted for us, because, you know, we got it last year and this year, and hopefully next year as well. <laughs> so thanks all. Um, see you soon in February. Take care. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank see you. you too, and see you in Oman soon. <laughs> We're going to have last year, this year, and hopefully next year as well. <laughs> yeah. So thanks all. Now let's move to the second most voted. But before this, I would like to say uh, goodbye to all you. I will step out and um, we will see you later on the final greetings. And I hope to see you all uh, in Oman. Uh, let's pray God that will give us health and that this pandemic will allow us. The second most voted is Globe Trackers. And the, sorry, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. The first most voted is Globe Trackers from Dubai, and we have in live connection Mr. Douglas. I think that the connection with Mr. Douglas uh, yes, did yes. not work. So we have the next c category. Yes, we have the sixth and the last category of awards yes, for, for ALN. ALN. The second most voted um, uh, for Africa is Dark Group from Sudan. And we have a video. Dear yeah, LN members, Jambo from the Light Dakar family, it's another great moment that all of us are able to meet one another virtually and exchange our ideas further as we foster the network's immense growth alongside our cross border trade global. In 2016, at the ALN second AGM, Dakar was voted for as the third in the Africa best business best <coughs> performing company and thus it's with great honor that we accepted this prize, second Africa top agent 2021 with gratitude and profound hearty thank you to everyone who has shown trust in our brand and service. We forge to work together harder in the next stage and serve you more than never before. As all of us know, it has been the roughest moment for everyone and more so for us following the demise of our chairman last year alongside the devastating pandemic that we are facing. We have remained strong and with this price we are indebted to serve you more with full zeal and determination in years to come. Wishing all of you a fruitful meeting from all of us here at Dakar. Thank you. Thank you, Fred, and good luck to recover soon. Now the second pair, uh, second in Africa top agent is Freight in Time with Mr. Ginesh Desai. We have a live connection. Hi, Ginesh. Hi, how are you? How are you? Fine. Fine. Good Thanks. afternoon to all of you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I, I would like to thank the, all the voters who has voted for us. And I accept this on behalf of my whole team who has made it possible for uh, us. And we continue striving and grow with uh, the ALN family who is doing a fantastic job. Um, I also wish to congratulate ALN 
and uh, uh, you know thank them for organizing this conference over the next few days i'm sure it's going to be a great event uh, and help uh, all the members to collaborate and uh, grow their business and discuss about various opportunities um, so i think uh, good luck to all the members also and congratulations to all the winners uh, within the network and hope to see you all in person soon thank you so much thank you thank Dinesh. you thank congratulations you. again and uh, in this category africa we have a third uh, most voted company second place yes second place uh, that is med africa from morocco and we have a video contribution Hope all of you are safe and healthy. It is a really big pleasure for us to be part of this great family. Getting this award makes me and Mid Africa team very excited to promote more and more our relationships with all island members worldwide. I would like to thank many agents that helped us to provide good services to our customers and pass over this hard period of the pandemic. I would like to thank especially our Hong Kong member, Global Cargo Far East, in the name of Mr. Sandy, Benny and Jeff. They are very professional team. MedAfrica recently get the license from our local government to handle international express courier inbound and outbound from and to morocco we are focusing on our uh, service to uh, the e-commerce projects so we are providing our service to many marketplaces that are implementing their uh, company here in morocco so any agent that may need any help in this subject please contact us we'll be at your disposal for any help you may need thank you so much thank you all thank you joy and uh, the leader of the category africa top agent is swift worldwide logistics south africa Mr. Trevor. Hi all, it's Trevon Padiachi here from Swift Worldwide Logistics in Cape Town. Trust you all are doing well. Good day to the ALN board members and partners of the ALN team. I would like to thank you on behalf of the Swift Air Management and team for voting us uh, Africa Top Agent Award 2021. We would like to thank you all the members and their continued support over these years. It's been a difficult period for all agents throughout this pandemic and we are grateful for the support of all members during this period. We will always strive to meet our expectations of our colleagues and our fellow members. We look forward to your continued support and once again we would like to thank you for your votes and this award. Thank you. Thank you Mr. Trevon. Thanks for your support and for the important membership of SWIFT Worldwide Logistics in South Africa. And now it's a big change. We, we changed the, the network. <laughs> it's time for ALNA Award. Let's start with uh, LNA and Africa Top Agent 2021. <music> and uh, we have uh, three winners for Africa Top Agent. All of them are the first one, all of them are leading the Africa Top Agent list. The first is Africa Afrilog from Niger. We have a video from my friend Sidi Agu. Please. Hello, hello. Good morning, ALNA management. Good morning to all ALNA members around the world. My name is uh, Sidi Agu. I am the managing director of Afrilog in the Republic of Niger. 
on behalf on behalf of Afrilog, I would like to say thank you to all for choosing Afrilog as the best African agent of LNA for 2021. This is truly a great pleasure and also an honor to us. Thanks again. I hope to see you all very soon in good shape and health. Until then, please take care of yourself and stay safe. Thank you for the video and on pair with Afrilog in the first position we have also Gold Bridge Express from Morocco and we have Miss Jasmine uh, live. Hi. Hello. Hi. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for Hello, your Jasmine. Congratulations. Hi, thank you, Mr. Marcelo. Thank you very much. Uh, firstly, I want to thank you, Mr. Alessandro, Anna, Laura, and all teams for this event. And uh, we are uh, very happy to be in the agent of, uh, uh, of Anna. Joined the, the, the network since uh, two years, and we are uh, very happy to be in, uh, one of your agent members because uh, we always felt your support, your professionalism, and uh, your reactivity. Also, we appreciate the quality of agents belonging to, to Anna Networks. Uh, I want to say that, uh, that Anna was a vital part of our success and the growth during this period. Uh, we are very proud uh, to be in the Africa Top Asian 2021 and it's exciting us and the teams to, uh, to, uh, more, uh, to work more and uh, being available and valuable Asian to be in the more and more the top agents of Africa. So uh, that means uh, a lot of things that means that we get this uh, the trust of uh, overseas partners and our customers as well moroccan customers because we handled uh, in cooperation with the partners their shipment uh, very efficiently uh, we are looking uh, for more uh, commercial opportunities and reciprocal partnerships and we hope that uh, our one-to-one -one meetings will allow us to uh, to meet very good agents and uh, uh, open us the the way to achieve our objectives for this year's and for next year's uh, as well um, by the end, uh, I thank you uh, another time and uh, I remain at your disposal and disposal of our, our uh, partners and uh, don't hesitate to call to uh, request uh, any help assistance from Morocco. Thank you all. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you very much. And again, uh, the, the third winner at Pera uh, in the first uh, place is Better Logistics uh, LTD from Ghana. We have a video from Mr. Yazi Wiafe. Better Logistics, we are an owner founder member in Ghana and we are excited or more than excited to be part of this family of excellent freight forwarders. We at Better fundamentally believe that growth is a way of life and we have to grow at all times and at all levels. This belief instilled in us by our founder is what urges us on as a team to strive for excellence in everything we do. Against this background, the announcement of winning Honor Africa Top Agents 2021 came to us as no surprise However, we are very excited and feel very proud of 
this achievement for the second time running. This feat wouldn't be possible without a sterling contribution of my team members. To them, I say in one of our local languages, I equal, which means well done. That log with our team of highly trained and skilled personnel is poised to support members of this network as far as the Ghana and West Africa trade lane is concerned. To fellow members who voted for us, I say merci, shukran, obrigado, gracias, thank you. Bethlog, we are experts in shipping logistics. And we can go through the worldwide top agent 2021. We have uh, Sylvie. We have, uh, yes, the four. Five uh, winners. Ah, wow. Yes. And I think we can call all of them together. Yes. <laughs> Let's start. Okay. Call the first one is... Is Logenix from India. And uh, please, uh, Alessandro, you, you are the first one, it seems. You, you, you can uh, say, I leave you the word. Okay, thank you so much. It is a great pleasure for me. Like, I don't look like my name, Alessandro, with look more Russian. <laughs> uh, um, it's a great pleasure for us to uh, address you today on behalf of Volantis Logistics from Turkey. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all and thank the networks for this great initiative. Uh, for us, it's, a, it's an honor to receive this award as Worldwide Top Agents for 2021. And we see this uh, award as uh, an exhortation to strengthen our links and uh, to have better services, better partnership. And I would like to bring this voice like a hope to meet face-to-face, uh, -face. maybe in a short time next year, we don't know when it will be, but I hope that it will be very soon and we will have the opportunity to discuss face to face about challenges about our professional commitments and i can say to everybody that you can already count on volunteers as a transferable okay. member thank you congratulations thank you, uh, thank you. The next uh, who's online brother? we try to to put all together but it seems there are some problem I, yes. I, I ask Laura uh, to... Akbar, you are online? Yes, I'm here. Would you say some words? Yes, so <laughs> firstly, I would like to thank the ALN team, uh, starting with Mr. Alessandro Saponaro, Mr. Marcelo Saponaro. Yeah. Um, you guys are like family. The rest of the ALN team, Ms. Andra, Sylvie, Alessandro Zanin, uh, Ms. Laura. Um, it's a great honor to uh, receive this award, um, especially during these pandemic times. 2020 and 2021 have been uh, difficult years for everyone. Um, I'd like to congratulate the rest of the winners of these awards. Um, it's a great honor to receive such an award. Um, and I hope um, things get better in the future. And I hope we can uh, finally meet in person after a very long time uh, in Muscat in 2022. Thank you again, ALN team, for receiving such a good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I know you have an important uh, official flight. trip uh, and uh, you yeah. have to take the flight. Uh. Yes. Uh, so thank you for your time and uh, we will keep in touch. Thanks for your time. Yes, of thank course. You. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. See you. Bye -bye. And then uh, I, I, my my brother with the sensor name Matteo Saponaro should be online also. Matteo, <laughs> hi yes. Matteo. Hi everybody. We, I we think that you cannot, you cannot forget my name. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a it's a long time that I'm not uh, part of a meeting of uh, directly of uh, LNA and Alna Network. I remember, I still remember the first one that we held in Bergamo 
some years ago, and the growing of this network is uh, quite unbelievable. Of course, I thank everybody, uh, the network, uh, the company that voted for us, all, all the company that we met uh, in uh, these years and we cooperate with them. Uh, I'm not willing to, to waste a long time, but uh, I think that the two things maybe can be underlined. One is uh, uh, to have this uh, award uh, in this uh, time, strange and challenging time, it uh, has an ad additional value because uh, to perform and to satisfy the partner and the friends during this time, maybe it's not easy like in normal time. And the second is that uh, uh, I think that uh, all of us, we are winners because uh, uh, maybe I, I am not following the day per day business, but when I, I met and I get in touch with the company in this network, in this family, I will we have a great, uh, a great support. And for this, for me, I, I'm willing to share this award to everybody because we, we are coming from a very nice uh, experience. Thanks and uh, hello to everybody. Thank you, Matteo, and thanks thank you, to, to Technofraid, that is a, a founder member of Elen and Anna since a long time. And, and now, now, Mr. Ron, Mr. Ron, yes. are you live? Good afternoon. From Logan Hi, Hicks, Ron. India. Good afternoon, how are you? Congratulations. <laughs> thank you very much. I'd like to thank ALNA for this recognition and award. Uh, operating and managing uh, important supply chains to Africa from all over the world is the primary focus of Legenix. We believe and our, our clients certainly tell us that the expertise and solutions offered particularly from our network of offices across India to Africa are among the very best in the logistics industry today. So. Thank you again very much for the award and recognition. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. And then again, Mr. Stefan from Militzar and Munch. Hello. Hello, Mr. Uh, Hi. Hello, Stefan. Congratulations. Thank you. You are. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to uh, thank you and thank your team for organizing this uh, virtual meeting. Uh, and then uh, also to, to thank uh, all the members who had voted for, for MLM Group uh, on the behalf of all our employees. Uh, we are more than 2,000 around the world uh, within uh, 30 countries, even if we register just uh, eight of our subsidiaries. Um, but uh, thank you on uh, all of their names. Um, and uh, I'd like to ask, uh, to, to add, sorry, uh, that uh, over the 140 years of MLM history, we have been uh, animated by a pioneer spirit. And today, uh, it's important to us to, to develop our activities to Africa, helped by uh, Alna's network. And uh, I'm sure we will do a great job uh, all together. So thank you very much once again. And uh, I'll be pleased to, to meet all of you uh, physically next time in, uh, in Oman. Thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you. you for trusting with your company in a, a small network that is growing uh, a lot uh, despite the, the pandemic uh, <laughs> since uh, uh, the, the network was born. Thank you again. Now talk about the next meeting um, and the, uh, as Andra said uh, uh, before uh, uh, you you can imagine in uh, in in which country we we will have uh, the next meeting but uh, um, for uh, who uh, are uh, not uh, guests uh, i have some indication it's uh, a very nice country uh, rich of history and wonderful nature and uh, let's uh, see the video together.
the next meeting will be at Muscat uh, in Oman. Uh, and uh, will be the eighth uh, meeting for ALN and the third meeting for ALNA. Um, uh, this meeting will be held from 27th February to 2nd March 2022, plus one day optional for leisure day as usual. One more time, uh, the meeting will be combined uh, be between Africa Logistics Network and Air Freight Logistics Network for uh, Africa and also with the participation of ex exclusive project network. And uh, this uh, way of meeting uh, will be repeated every three years. And uh, time is, is very, very short. So it's very important that uh, you can confirm as your participation. In few days, we'll uh, decide the hotel, in few weeks, the agenda and all uh, information uh, and we'll, we'll send you all information. Uh, um, is most important uh, have the number of participants be because uh, uh, within the first days of December we'll uh, um, um, have will add to have a realistic number of room for the hotel for the um, confirmation the hotel. So uh, we are looking uh, forward to see you face to face in Muscat uh, in fe fe February. We have, Fe uh, we can call here all the team uh, of ALN A and ALN, Laura, Andra with me and, uh, yes. and Sylvie to, uh, to call the closure of the first day of conference uh, uh, for our networks and uh, the <laughs> starting of the one-to-one -one meeting with the open scheduler you can book your meeting you should have already have done but you can continue to, to book your meeting and you have mm. one week full for free to talk uh, face to face by module software unfortunately still with uh, uh, not in person, but uh, we, we trust uh, it's, it, it can be very useful and this is the maximum we could do for in the last two years during the pandemic uh, to help you to grow, to grow together with all our members, to help to have even every day more strict relation with all our members because this is what we want to do. A network with people with full confidence and great trust with all the other members. This is uh, ALN, this is ALN A and uh, the week uh, of uh, meeting that uh, uh, it's a gift from uh, ALN team to all of you to fight uh, the fucking pandemic <laughs> and to start again to to see each other uh, face to face drink to drink beer to beer <laughs> uh, and pasta to pasta I yesterday was the worldwide national day of pasta <laughs> next uh, year mm -hmm. in uh, february and march thank see. you all again for attending uh, this virtual and for supporting us uh, i would remind to all the members that have one-to-one -one meetings the most essential things that they have to book also on the second platform and further they have to manage their time slots with available and unavailable if you have any problems or any doubts please feel free to contact me on whatsapp and uh, well laura mm. <laughs> thank you everyone to be here today it's uh, a pleasure and uh, this is my first time uh, live with uh, the ALN and the ALNA team. So 
I'm <laughs> more and more with them. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you all, and uh, see you on see you fifth of November. Yes. Fifth of yes. November for, for the, the farewell. See you. All. <laughs> see you. Bye bye. Bye. bye.